Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, as mentioned, my name is uh, Zheng Yuzheng, and uh, I'm uh, from the Open Oiler community. And uh, uh, Open Oiler is also one of the top sponsors uh, for this events. And I guess you guys might heard uh, the word Open Oiler in the past, uh, in the last, uh, in the next few days, uh, a lot. And we have a booth, uh, one of the biggest booths in the exhibition area and. Uh, actually, as mentioned, uh, I have been working on uh, different uh, open source projects, but uh, I'm quite new to the uh, CCC uh, uh, confidential commenting technologies. Uh, I only served uh, as the outreach uh, community member uh, for uh, CCC for only like two months. So I guess uh, I can see that everyone in this room uh, knows uh, confidential commenting better than me, so I'm not uh, going to uh, show off my uh, slide skills uh, in front of you guys. So I'm more like uh, introducing uh, the Open Oiler community and what we have done in the uh, confidential commenting area. And as mentioned uh, in the first uh, starting up uh, uh, topic, uh, CCC is currently looking to uh, uh, do more activities in the uh, Asia Pacific area. So we are from the Asia Pacific area as a community and we have a lot of uh, uh, activities and events. So that's uh, what we're thinking that uh, we can uh, do it together and uh, uh, boost increase the uh, uh, increase the uh, uh, visibility of the uh, confidential computing things. And so uh, what is uh, Open Euler? Actually, we are an open source uh, operating system and other projects incubated and operated by the Open Atom Foundation, which is a very fast growing uh, community and foundation uh, in the Asia area. And uh, our vision is to provide an open source OS for the global digital infrastructure. And our, uh, as I mentioned, we are not only uh, an operating system. We actually have a lot of uh, innovation projects, which includes uh, a CCC uh, confidential computing related uh, stuff. So uh, one of my topic today is to uh, show what we have done here. And probably we can get some uh, uh, cooperation on uh, both technology and uh, uh, community stuff. And so, uh, actually, we have already have uh, a lot of users and installations uh, in various areas. Uh, like we have over uh, about almost two two million, I think, uh, community users, and we have uh, over four million uh, installations. Uh, considering we have only started the uh, community for about three years, uh, just over three years, so I think these numbers are, can be. Uh, very good, and as you can see, we have uh, users from uh, uh, all kind of uh, uh, scenarios and use cases, and uh, that's why we think that uh, Open Oiler is very uh, can be a very attractive to uh, communities and technologies uh, who wants to expand their uh, use cases in the uh, Asia area. Oh, sorry. So uh, actually, what are uh, our uh, technology advantages comparing to all the other uh, open source OSs. Uh, what we are thinking about is that we are trying to combine all the uh, uh, use cases, uh, scenarios uh, for one uh, OS. Uh, because you know uh, we have this uh, information technology OS, uh, which is basically the OS we can talk about is uh, maybe uh, CentOS or Ubuntu or other stuff like that. And we also have OS that is uh, uh, built for the communication technologies, uh, which are more uh, real-time thing or and others. And we have also the operational technologies, which mostly uh, likely for the embedded or IoT stuff is more, uh, more real-time thing. And actually, we are thinking about, uh, because uh, 
one thing uh, for the uh, current state is uh, you ha both have, uh, like uh, for example, you both have a database for the uh, IT technology, which could be MariaDB or MySQL or, so or something else. And you have uh, uh, another DB technology for the communication technology. Uh, they, they could be similar, but there will always be some uh, very, uh, big difference. So we have very, uh, a lot of the uh, soft chimneys. Uh, for the uh, similar uh, applications. So our idea is to, if we can build a one OS for facilitated scenarios applications, we can uh, make use of the, those uh, applications and do not build uh, uh, replicas for each other. So and our, another uh, for the source part is that uh, we are trying to do one OS for uh, various devices, like for server, cloud, edge, and embedded. Uh, I know that uh, mo uh, there are also some uh, OSs that can do that, but uh, actually in our community, we are trying to provide a tool that uh, you can easily uh, call the Eula Maker, and you can easily uh, pick uh, which components you want and build up your own uh, operating system for your own uh, devices and scenarios. Like uh, you want a very small uh, OS, you don't have to wait for the uh, OS vendor to provide it for you. You can build up it easily for your, uh, f f with our tool for your own use cases. And that's what we are trying to do here. And we have another uh, more like uh, device, uh, remote device uh, operating system is called Open Harmony. It, it's also uh, incubated with the uh, Open Atom Foundation. Uh, so we have a soft bus which can connect very fast. Uh, let's, it's more like the, a job, uh, airdrop thing. You can connect to the device very fast uh, with Open Order. So it's like more like an, uh, your Linux uh, device can connect to an Android device very fast, more like that. But uh, both of them are uh, started from scratch. So, uh, uh, as I mentioned, we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, innovation projects. We actually have over 400 innovation uh, projects. Uh, it's more like, uh, not, not uh, to be honest, it's not like projects. It's over 400 repos, but um, sometimes one project can have uh, you know, different components, but I can say that it's still over 100 innovation projects. And uh, OS for, for the, for, as an OS, uh, uh, we consider security uh, as one of the very fundamental things. So we have several projects uh, in the security part. Uh, one, else, one is the thing I want to mention today is the SecGear is a com confidential computing framework. And we have other things like uh, SecPaver and uh, the IMA. Uh, actually, we are, we are trying to provide a full stack uh, or out of box uh, use for our customers or users. Uh, so uh, we are doing, uh, our community is doing things uh, from the hardware layer to, uh, to the application layer. So we have a full stack of uh, those things. And uh, you can see that we have already uh, supported uh, uh, diverse computing uh, power empowerments. We, we can support ARM 686 and uh, we can support uh, x86. And we also have a very good support for RISC V uh, things. And if you want to uh, push your technologies in, I say, China, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, you know, uh, China-based architectures you may want to adopt. So we have already supported those in our OS. So what you, you, you only to have to consider about uh, your application layer or libraries. Uh, so that's uh, the whole picture, uh, part of the whole picture of the Open Euler uh, innovation projects. And uh, actually, I'm only uh, actually, you can uh, see from my past work experience, uh, I previously I work on the uh, co cloud computing and virtualization thing, and uh, actually I'm not uh, an expert on <laughs> most of those projects, but we, as I mentioned, we have a booth downstairs, and we have come about 20 experts this time, so uh, if you guys have uh, want to know anything uh, about 
uh, open Euler and other innovation projects and you can you are welcome to our booth and uh, discuss with our uh, experts there yeah and uh, I think uh, after because uh, when, uh, when I pre oh sorry there are still some Chinese there. <laughs> uh, when I, uh, when I uh, prepare this uh, uh, material I, uh, this slides uh, I was thinking that uh, I can uh, do some uh, deeper uh, deeper uh, talk about this but uh, when I say they're uh, taking <laughs> Uh, listening to all the previous uh, presentations, I think, oh, this, those are uh, hardcore people. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm not going to talk about too many about this uh, because I think everyone in this room uh, knows what those are. Uh, we have just uh, implemented uh, most of the uh, things should be implemented for the uh, computational computing in our uh, sec year. Uh, framework and uh, we have uh, actually I can what I can share is that we have uh, two uh, I bring two use cases today that we already use uh, Sakir uh, as their confidential computing uh, technology in their deployments so I think that's uh, what I can share today uh, so uh, this one I'm not going to go um, uh, to de depths about this, so you can see we have uh, security channel, we have remote uh, attestation, and we have some dev kits for users to be easily adapt uh, or developers to easily develop uh, uh, computational computing uh, applications, and that's what we have done. And so uh, this is an example about uh, how our development tool can easily. Uh, make the developers' uh, life more easily. And you can see that, uh, as I mentioned, our OS is uh, aimed to uh, for different or mixed uh, architectures. Uh, so uh, I think that's also one of the mainstream in uh, China or Asia. I think uh, mainstream in China is to support uh, multiple architectures because. Uh, because <laughs> for some reasons we are uh, we cannot only use uh, x86 architecture. So uh, so if you want to uh, you know promote uh, technologies in China, you have to consider uh, multi-architecture things. So one of the challenges is to um, sometimes you have to uh, you know code twice or uh, uh, for uh, three times uh, for different architecture especially for technologies that are more uh, related to the hardware uh, as, as you know computational computing is really uh, closely related to the hardware so it could be very common to you know program or compile twice for different architecture and for uh, our uh, sec year uh, we have provided a simplified API for different architecture and it's already done inside in the Sagir. And if you follow the API or SDK or rules, you can, uh, you know, have a uh, similar experience uh, for both uh, Intel and uh, uh, ARM x86 uh, programming uh, experience. Uh, so I think the, this one is uh, uh, switchless. Is one of the, I don't know whether this is. Uh, a very innovative thing or not, but uh, we can provide a 10 times performance increase on the ARM x 64 platform. Uh, we can optimize the REE and TE interact performance by using uh, shared memory to reduce the context switching uh, in the application. Uh, and also we can reduce, reduce the data copying uh, for that. Uh, we have a, a use case show about this later. Uh, also, uh, we have implemented the secure channel uh, to provide the end-to-end -end protection for our data. And I think uh, this graph shows very clearly uh, what we have done. And I think this is quite also quite common in the confidential computing uh, uh, technologies. So I'm not going to talk too much detail about it 
and it's quite uh, common. So I'm, uh, I will share two use cases uh, in China and with actually they are quite uh, large deployments. And uh, I can see that uh, this one is, the first one is uh, actually is a certificate agent, agency uh, from Be Beijing. Uh, actually it's one of, uh, one of very important, uh, uh, one of the very important uh, uh, department. Uh, so they use this uh, technology uh, to uh, provide an agile and distributed uh, service based on uh, SACGear. So we can see that uh, the uh, crypto cryptographic model is built uh, based on, uh, you know, we have this uh, ARM64 uh, uh, server or chip called Quimpeng and it can provide uh, some uh, optimized uh, or speed up uh, with its hardware and they can provide this TEE uh, environment and we have this open wire confidential computing software stack and all the servers uh, provide the service at the same time. Uh, so we have a uh, uh, very big uh, performance uh, comparing which can be comparing with the, you know, uh, you, when you use the hardware encryption machine, uh, we can be compatible uh, with that. Uh, so you know, this is a very uh, good solution for, you know, cost saving uh, thing and the performance thing. And especially for the uh, uh, cloud uh, applications. Yeah, as mentioned here, uh, first you need the professional equipment and remote services. Uh, and the abilities are fixed, but after using this, uh, we can provide the similar uh, performance uh, with general equipment and in the local service, and we can uh, iteration the applications very agile. So, and another use case is that uh, we use our uh, studio, it's based on Quimpeng TE, and uh, we provide uh, a, a con condensed uh, uh, database. Uh, with all these technologies. Uh, we can see that uh, we implemented a full function uh, circle uh, query and calculation of data ciphertext uh, through uh, technical means and completely solve the problem of data privacy leakage on the cloud and uh, trust of third party uh, services. Uh, uh, our idea of solution is to use the uh, physical isolation or logical isolation of plain text uh, computing space and use access control to make uh, computing and data invisible to outside world uh, to prevent the data leakage. As you can see, we still use uh, the whole uh, Segear stack uh, with the operators and encrypted uh, data management and uh, the switch list uh, with uh, zero switch to provide a very good performance uh, of this uh, solution. Um, and. Uh, uh, I'm not able to share uh, detailed data because, okay, uh, be detailed data uh, about these solutions, but uh, because, uh, you know, uh, confidential computing technology is always used for, you know, uh, uh, authorized departments, so I cannot share detailed data, but I can see that uh, those two use cases have uh, a lot of uh, a very big deployments and it's very important in China and I think uh, uh, they are using uh, our set gear which means uh, that they believe our set gear is both performance and uh, shows very good in both performance and security. So uh, I think that's uh, all for my slides and uh, uh, as I mentioned uh, I'm not a computational computing expert and uh, but as I'm still learning and I think we can uh, cooperate more uh, in the Asia area and uh, uh, after that I think I'll be more a confidential computing professional and we can discuss more about the technologies. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. I made the worst mistake you can make. I, I pronounced your name right but I pronounced the name open Euler wrong, so I'm sorry, it is open Euler. I have a problem with Euler, the mathematician's name, so uh, thank, thank you. Any, any questions? Oh, we've got one in Richard. Um, 
immediately from, from Paul. Uh, I also apologize. I uh, pronounced open oiler wrong this morning also as well, so uh, I learned something new. Uh, I didn't know about this project. It, it looks really interesting. Um, I said at the start that we need to open more confidential computing in Asia. Yes. Uh, I exclude PRC from that or, or China from that because it's a hotbed for, for confidential computing as it is. Uh, you've shown uh, deployments in China. Um, what about the rest of Asia? Do you have a plan to sort of penetrate the rest of Asia with this? Is there some sort of strategic plan for that? And if there is, is what can the Confidential Computing Consortium help to drive that penetration for you? Because it does look like a, a fairly compact uh, solution, right? Yeah, uh, actually we have, uh, as, uh, as you can see, that uh, I think most of you guys didn't, did not heard about Open Euler before. And uh, we are trying to be more uh, global, so that's why we are here. And so uh, also in the, uh, as, as I saw you guys mentioned Singapore, right? Uh, we also started uh, a lot of activities in Singapore. And we have, uh, uh, we have also connected uh, several banks, I think, uh, in Singapore. And uh, they, they are promoting, we are promoting uh, Open Euler as a whole, so they can select uh, all the projects uh, they want to use in the, in their uh, projects, and I think the uh, things like Segear is one of the uh, plans or uh, deployments where that we they could use in their deployments. And uh, actually, uh, we are uh, doing this with all the. We have actually uh, I did not uh, show it yet. We have a lot of uh, partners and and members in the Open Online community and. Actually, because we are, uh, or myself, we are from the community, we are only doing open source stuff, and they are like doing uh, our uh, business uh, offering, uh, depend on the, uh, our open source projects, and they are doing those uh, selling and deployments. I think this is a great example of one of the, I know that for certain uh, countries, it's difficult to be doing work with, with Huawei or other folks in the PRC, Doing stuff in the open, open source, the LF makes that possible, and yes. and it really get brilliant collaboration. Yes, yes. So I'm, re I'm really pleased, and I'm, I'm going to be going to KubeCon in Shanghai next week. If anyone else is going to be there, I shall, shall see you. But um, any other questions? I've got oh loads. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, yeah, th this is more of a question, comment, well rather comment um, and encouragement to so. Fragmentation of hardware is, is a fact, and it's, uh, increasingly we see different you know, uh, types of hardware in the landscape, both due to technical and other reasons. Uh, and that's why it's even more important to and I encourage you to uh, get involved into like, the standardization activities around confidential computing. I'm thinking right now like ITF, TEEP, RATS, so the, the two work groups where a lot is happening. I think quite a lot there is kind of centered on x86 just because. Uh, in some cases it matters, in some cases it doesn't, but it's really, really good to bring this perspective that there are other architectures and, and there are other ways of, of doing things, so I really encourage you to get involved and, and improve standards in this way. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will try. <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't just stay in the outreach committee, come to all the committees, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. that's great. Uh, Usama, you have... Uh, I was just wondering that you mentioned um, secure channel and remote attestation in one of the slides. So I was wondering if you have um, any technical details on whether you are using here the RATLS protocol or do you know some details about the technical, uh, how these two protocols are composed together? Uh, I can, uh, I, actually, I cannot uh, answer those questions right now, but I can uh, send you the details you wanted. To, to you because uh, I want to share some details, but actually, as I mentioned, we are just going global and some of our uh, uh, data and materials are in Chinese. So I did not, I did not put any uh, QR codes here because uh, as I checked, our uh, first page is in English uh, with the Sapgear and other, all the other pages are still in Chinese, so I cannot. I'm sure Sama can translate any Chinese that we. Uh, <laughs> that answer your question? Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I will, yeah. Any other questions? So, yep. Maybe just a short question about 
how uh, you, you mentioned that you are open to discussion and your security experts and CC uh, related experts are there for discussion. So how can one contribute to your projects or are you open to other community yes, members yes. commuting, specifically academics, are you open yes, to yes, contributing yes. without membership, let's say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 uh, we have, uh, I, uh, sorry, I don't have the, I, I, let me check, maybe I have. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, forget. Uh, we we actually have members, but we are uh, where uh, because as mentioned, I've been working on other communities for uh, eight years, and uh, we know how open source community could, should be like. And we are running this community uh, as a um, you know real <laughs> open source community. So everyone is uh, okay to contribute, and we have already. Uh, I have to say over uh, 3,000 developers have contributed code and uh, over 10,000 contributors have uh, you know, raised issues or anything. Uh, so everyone is you know, able to contribute and we are working on the infrastructure to be able to uh, you know, uh, work because uh, we, our code is, uh, our code currently, our code is uh, hosted on a Chinese vendor uh, because we have already put it there and the code is very very large where it's not easy to move it directly to github so we are still doing that and I think uh, people are uh, can contribute to that yeah. I have um, one last question if I may uh, which is you showed some um uh, framework, the Setgear framework. Yes. Um, what languages does that support, and what uh, does Open Euler support for comp compilers? Uh, the the uh, Setgear is in C, and uh, we have a uh, we, we we support almost every compiler. We can do with uh, GCC, and we can do with uh, RVM, and we also do have projects in Rust. Excellent. Uh, so anyone, anyone has any Fortran or COBOL or Algol 68? No, 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 we wouldn't. <laughs> well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, any, any final thing? But that's great. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Really interesting. Thank you. And uh, uh, if uh, anyone wants to have a deeper discussion, I will be at the uh, Open Wireless booth with all the other experts, and you are welcome to discuss. There are some one. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people are better than me there, so <laughs> you can have a deeper discussion on technologies. Thank you.